hey friends hello and welcome back to this youtube channel in today's video tutorial i'm going to share to you on how you can fix the roblox authentication error code 429 when you are trying to make many requests on roblox so for this let's go quick into the process first is you have to try to wait for a while so when you encounter the error just simply wait for a while and then after you have waited for a while, just try to see if the problem has been fixed. For the next method is we can or we need to check the Roblox server status to check if there are some issues or errors in the Roblox server status. So in the Windows search bar, open any of the browser that you have on your Windows. It could be Edge or Chrome. Now let me open my Microsoft Edge browser. Anyway, the process is just the same. In the search bar, type status.roblox dot com hit enter now this is the roblox server status so you have to check this to know if there are any issues with the server roblox server if it states all systems operational well good there is no problem with the roblox server but if not then you just need to simply go back to the same website and check if they or if it states that all systems operational then for the next method go ahead and click on the start button and go to settings now here in the list of options on the left pane, you have to select network and internet. Scroll down and you'll find VPN. Now if you're connected to any VPN, you just need to make sure that you are going to disconnect from any VPN on your Windows. So you have to simply disconnect from any of the VPN on your Windows and then open, open Roblox again and try to see if the problem has been fixed. Well for sure that will be fixed. Then for the next method, go ahead in the Windows search bar, type ncpa.cpl. Control panel item, simply click on that. Now you have to locate your connection. It could be ethernet or wi-fi the process is just the same make a right click and then select properties now the properties window will appear click on the internet protocol version 4 click on properties then here you have to select this option use the following dns server addresses so we are going to use the google's dns server addresses which is the great uh, which is a great dns or one of the greatest dns for the preferred dns server type 8.8.8.8 and for the alternate dns server type 8.8.4.4 and click on ok and close this windows and afterwards just restart your windows and then open roblox and then that's it so if any of the solutions helped you in fixing the issue kindly please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos and tutorials like this thank you for watching